I think I think the whole um, concept for the building and the campus came from two different areas really. The first area was that effectively we had to make build this school entirely while the school stayed on site. So in a way, the first thing was trying to build new buildings on bits of land that, that were not uh, used at the moment. The second thing is we had to make sure that the composition of those buildings then looked intentional. And I think from that point of view, we looked very much at historical university campuses, things like IIT in Chicago, and, and how a sort of very geometric way of, uh, of placing the buildings became important. And I suppose that placement was all about uh, a promenade all the way through the site from both streets, forming a gateway building at one end, um, and then all the way along that promenade we have a series of buildings that uh, I suppose slide nearer and further away from the promenade. Obviously the, the striking thing that people see are these faceted concrete panels. The school themselves all enjoyed modern architecture and enjoyed the modern buildings that were here from the 50s. So we were looking for an architecture that looked forwards but also reflected these 1950s buildings. I think at the same time the practice was experimenting quite a lot with off-site construction, and particularly concrete, and, and, and how that would speed up construction of schools but also give depth to the building. Uh, and I think in the end it's that depth that, particularly on the corners of the building, that um, makes it a very unusual building and I think that's the thing that uh, we enjoyed most. We brought in our long-time collaborator, uh, Morag Myerskoff of Studio Myerskoff, who worked with the students, with the leadership team at the school and with ourselves. And I suppose the key manifestations of that are the entrance porticos where you see the coloured tile patterns. The other work that Morag's done in the school is more Morag acting as an artist. So these are you know, from, uh, I suppose, the, the school logo itself, the, the tree, or you can see in the, 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 the dining rooms these long pieces that Morag's created. That becomes an idea of, I suppose, how how we can add character inside the building as well as outside and how this theme of, I suppose, fails and tiling comes all the way through the building.